Okay, good morning everybody. Okay. So uh it is uh one plus AM now uh, okay when I was doing this recording. Uh and I know uh today uh MOH released the numbers actually quite early uh, okay but I still took quite a while uh, okay because I was thinking how I should present this uh today uh. Lately uh I realized okay the views has been dropping uh on the videos uh, uh that is why uh, I want to do something about it. So uh if you have any suggestion uh, on how I can actually improve my video uh please drop a comment below. Also, uh, if you're new to my channel, uh, okay, please subscribe and hit the bell button uh, next to it. If uh, you have been my long-term supporter, well, let me thank you first, okay? Uh, then uh, please hit the like and share uh, button uh, so that to share this video. Uh. Also, uh, if you're a hater, uh, okay, don't worry, I don't hate you. In fact, I want to thank you for the view, uh, uh, especially uh, since you have lasted till now. Uh. Alright? So uh, do let me know okay, how I can improve uh, as I soon uh, may need to rely on YouTube uh, for bread and butter already. Uh. So uh, today update uh, wow, really surprised me. Uh. <laughs> this week uh, especially uh, is a very eventful week. Uh, and when I say eventful, uh, I don't mean uh, there's a lot of uh, happenings or things. Uh, okay? uh, we will start happening. I mean uh, a lot of events uh, are being hosted in Singapore. Uh, and yet... Uh, the daily cases uh, even got the chance uh, to drop to the 1k mark leh. Whoa, really steady sia, I must say. Seriously leh, this week alone only, uh, we have three major events uh, happening, uh, starting with the Milken Institute Asian Summit. Uh, okay? We see about 200 people. Then uh, we have the Bloomberg uh, New Economy Forum, uh, which draw in about 300 international business and government leaders. Uh. Okay, and lastly, uh, we also have the Restaurant Asia 2021, uh, which is target uh, to join about 1,000 people uh, a day. Like. Oh, very, very long time already. Uh, we don't have such big event now, like, uh, since COVID started. And I must tell you, uh, I am both impressed uh, and concerned at the same time. Uh. Okay, why I say I'm impressed uh, is because... Uh, you know, the hosting of all these uh, major events uh, it itself uh, what, is not an easy task really. And then uh, furthermore, uh, they host it uh, during this COVID period. Uh, it is to show the world uh, that Singapore economy uh, is already on the recovery track. Uh. But then, hosting these three major events, uh, I also have concern. Uh, because all these three major events uh, all happen around the same time. Uh. And should just one cuckoo, uh, one cuckoo uh, happen to spread, uh, one cluster started uh, only uh, from either one of these uh, events. Uh. Okay, wait, uh, let me find some wood to touch. Uh. Okay, I touched wood already. Uh. Wow, I cannot imagine uh, what will happen here. I mean, uh, the worst uh, is uh, when it spread to the community. Uh, if it stays within the group, uh, I think it's still okay. But if it spreads to the community, uh, whoa, suddenly uh, from 1k, uh, we can shoot up uh, to God know what k, you know. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, that's not a bit jitong, uh. <laughs> okay? Yeah, I also jitong because of this, okay? So just to FYI to you all, uh, okay? You know, for the Milken Institute uh, Asia Summit, uh, as well as the Bloomberg Forum, uh, both these are still okay uh, because uh, they have this uh, pre-event testing requirement. Uh, especially uh, since some of the participants uh, uh, to these events are actually from overseas. Uh. But then, uh, for the Restaurant Asia 2021, uh, there is no such uh, testing requirement eh, because uh, all the participants uh, are local residents uh, who uh, are fully vaccinated. Eh. I was like, when I heard this, I was like, huh? You mean fully vaccinated don't need pre-test event one meh? This is a major event eh, and you're expecting 1,000 people a day and you don't need to have the pre-event uh, testing. Wow, eh, what's going on? Okay, uh, but we all know, you know, being fully vaccinated uh, does not mean uh, you're immune eh. So uh, there will still be a risk uh, that someone uh, may actually bring the virus there on it. Uh. Of course, you know, confirm you know, there's still a chance on uh, you know, no matter how low it is. Uh, so uh, for those people uh, who are attending the restaurant Asia, uh, okay, good that you don't need to do a pre-event testing. But when you are there, uh, you better take care of yourself. Uh, don't go and get at hero here and there. Uh. Anyway, uh, as of uh, 19 November 12 p.m., okay. MOH uh, has declared a total of uh, 1,734 new cases in Singapore. This is a drop uh, of 304 cases uh, compared to previous data. There are also 1,633 community cases, 97 dormitory cases, and 4 imported cases. Uh. 
the weekly uh, infection uh, growth rate uh, is also currently at 0.77. I really hope uh, okay, the today number uh, is really a true reflection uh, of the situation here now in Singapore. Uh. Ah, because this is a good sign. I mean, we are we are down to thousand already, you know. Ah, hopefully, ah, uh, we will eventually, ah, uh, even hit the hundred, and then, ah, uh, the tens range, lah. Oh, then, ah, uh, then, ah, uh, uh, we can soon, ah, uh, very soon, ah, uh, we really can open up with ease already, lah. Uh. Okay, there are also now, ah, uh, one thousand three hundred and forty-six, ah, uh, cases warded in the hospital, lah. Uh, of which, ah, uh, two hundred and two, ah, uh, uh, require oxygen. Hundred and ten, ah, uh, are in the ICU, lah. Uh. Of the 110 uh, who are in the ICU, right, 64 of them uh, are critically ill. And then uh, 46 uh, are under close monitoring. The percentage of free ICU bed, uh, okay, this time around increased uh, by 1.8 percentage point uh, to 43%. Okay, let's take a quick look uh, at the ICU bed utilization graph. Uh. Okay, uh, seems like uh, okay, seems like the maximum ICU capacity uh, is at 430 uh, because it has been at 430 uh, for the last few days already. And then uh, we can see a big number uh, of uh, available ICU beds uh, largely contributed uh, by the close monitoring group. Uh. Uh, and this has actually bring uh, the uh, free ICU bed percentage uh, to an even healthier range uh, of 43% uh, uh, compared to yesterday. As you all know, uh, yesterday I said uh, we have two days of uh, single digit KO case. Just when we thought uh, that the number of KO cases uh, uh, is actually under control. Uh, because of my sway toy, uh, wow, today uh, done to a double digit count again. Ayo. So today uh, we have 16 KO cases. Month to date uh, for November, uh, okay, we have 234, 234 uh, KO cases already. And so far, November alone uh, account for 36.5% uh, of all the KO cases in Singapore. Uh. Okay, to summarize today's report, okay, we have a total of uh, 248,587 infected cases. And then we also have, uh, for KO cases, like 641 KO cases in total. 